What is up, you guys? It's the Ballet Teller here. Welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we are returning with the item shop switchover. As you guys can see, tonight's item shop is going to take us from Monday, the 6th of March, into the early morning of Tuesday, the 7th of March. Boy, we are literally one day until the next chapter. And it's chapter two, and everybody knows in Fortnite, when chapter two, well, sorry, when season two comes in a chapter, it always bangs. It's just guaranteed. Anyway, as you guys can see last night, we had the brand new Swamp Knight skin. We had the return of some very, very cool items as well. But what we're going to get in, wait for it. Three, two, one, let's go! Ooh, I've been waiting for this to return. So, as you guys can see, we had the return of the Horizon Zero Dawn Bundle. Now, I can't for the life of me remember whether I've covered this on this channel. I don't know whether I have. Anyway, we're going to go through into it anyway because I like this bundle. So, starting us off, we've got the main girl herself, Aloy. Outcast, Seeker, Champion. Part of the Horizon Zero Dawn set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. I liked the Primal Season. Let me know in the comments down below, did you guys like the Primal Season? I did. A lot of people didn't, but I did. Anyway... Moving us away from Aloy, moving us onto her bat bling, we have the Blaze Canister, preferred biofuel by Nora Seekers. If you guys know anything or you've ever played Horizon, you know these are important. So, moving us onto the Harvesting Tool, we have the Aloy's Spear. Turn the tables and venture into the wilds. Jeez, oh man. This game is literally sitting rent free in my head, it's so damn good. Anyway, moving us onto the glider, we have the Glint Hawk, a tedious, a, sorry, a, ten, a, ten, uh, a tenuous alliance. I can't get my words out tonight. But if you guys know anything about these in the game, these are a bitch in the first game, anyway. Really, really cool glider, though. Moving us onto the wrap, as you guys can see, it's animated and reactive. So you pretty much have the little blue um, light there in the top left. But if we trigger the weapon, gee, you get a nice little, um, oh, what do they call it? Oh, it's like a hologram effect, basically, uh, that triggers over the weapon. It looks absolutely badass on various different weapon models now. 100% recommend grabbing this if you haven't. Moving us onto the emote, Heart Ryzen. With love from the world of Horizon. Jeez. I mean, hey, you can't say any fairer than that. Moving us on to the exclusive loading screen, we have Aloy the Skywatcher. She's a natural. Jeez. Back when we used to have the lighthouse on the map, obviously, signature character there. Or um, well, legacy character, essentially. We've got fish sticks, the OG fish sticks. Really, really cool. 100% recommend grabbing this, guys, if you don't own it already. This is my time to shine. I can finally buy it. I don't know why I held off for so long. Again, it's one of those ones where I have the V-Books, it doesn't come back, or I don't have the V-Books and it comes back. Anyway, moving us on to the featured store. We have the return of the archetype. Engineered for combat performance. Part of the archetype set, first introduced in OG season five, looking very, very assassiny, if I do say so myself. Moving us on to the paradigm back bling. Utility Redefined. Again, absolutely badass. Always got to have two extra mags. Moving us on to the glider, we have the servo. Prototype Compound Glider. Again, first introduced in OG Season 5, looking very, very stealthy. Moving us on to the harvesting tool, you guys have seen this on its own. We have the caliper. Unparalleled Precision. First introduced in the OG Season 5 as well. Moving us swiftly on to a return of one of the Order agents, we have the Order Remnant. Without allies, but not without purpose. Now, a lot of people have been speculating whether the next season is going to have the um, Imagined Order return, because this season we haven't seen anybody. We haven't seen, we've heard Jonesy in some of the outbound missions, and obviously we've heard of the... Um, Oh, what's her name again? We've we, we rebuilt her body. I forgot what her name is. Anyway, we haven't seen anybody. The Imagined Order. We haven't seen the Imagined Order in a, quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. 
I mean, they weren't... Well, they kind of came back in Chapter 3, didn't they? Anyway, moving us on from the Order Remnant, we have the brand new Swamp Knight. Yes, I still class him as brand new because he's only, what, two days old, a day old. Anyway, we have the Swamp Knight. The Swamp's Vengeance Walks Among Us. The Swamp's Vengeance Walks Among Us. I'm still trying to consider what that means. But anyway, as you guys can see, he is a knight. He does have some kunai there, which I don't really think were a thing back in the medieval era. But I'll take it. They're absolutely badass. But yeah, we don't know who he is. So, hey, could be Jonesy. Could be anybody. Moving us on to the return of the second half of the featured storm. We're the return of the diecast and chromium skin. So we've got, an, well, we've got kind of like a robotic snapshot of Jonesy. The die cast. The die has been cast. Nice little, nice little Jonesy. Moving us on to the Chromium skin, which is obviously based off of Ramirez. We have Solid to the Core. Part of the Solid Steel set, first introduced in OG Season 4. Moving us on to the return of the Harvest and Tool, we have the Persuader. Very convincing. Do we have a problem? Do we have a problem? Bonus points to anyone that knows where that um, where that reference is from. Anyway, very, very cool. Do we have a problem? Moving us on to the solid strider. Hit your stride. Nice little glider. Very basic, but suits the skins very well. Moving us on to the return of the merino skin. Tame the Tropics. Part of the Beach Battalion set. First introduced in OG Season 8. And man... You've got to love those pants. Those are some pants. Anyway, moving us on to his bat bling, we have the banana bag. Potassium packed. I mean, hey, three bananas is good. Five bananas is even better. Anyway, nice little watering bottle there as well. Very, very cool. Moving us on to the return of the fresh cut as a harvesting tool. As you guys can see, you've seen this before. Chop down the competition. Part of the Beach Battalion set, first introduced in OG Season 8. Moving us on to the third half of the featured store, we have the return of the Dominion and the Legendary Malice. So, we've got the Dominion, or as I like to call him, Young Hellboy. Set the world on fire. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1, part of the Diabolical set. That reminds me there's a Hellboy game coming out this year. I need to remember when that is. Anyway, very, very cool skin. We then move... Oh, sorry, ugh, a bit quick. We move on to the Bat Bling, which is the Flame Sigil. The Underworld Beckons. Again, nice little holographic Bat Bling. You guys know I like my holographic Bat Blings. Or somewhat holographic. Anyway, moving us on to the Legendary Malice skin. Misery is her playground. Part of the Diabolical set, first introduced in the OG Season 8. Again, got some nice little particle effects there, especially on the hot heels. Over her entire body as well, like you can literally see like some bits of like um, the skin that are like burning off into ash. Very, very cool. Another little particle effects. Moving us on to the legendary back bling, we have the Malice Wings. Simply malicious. Moving us on to the Harvest and Tools now. This is the first out of two. We have the Burning Blades. Feel the sear of hot metal. Moving us on to the glider, we have the Burning Beast. Soaring from the Underworld, part of the Diabolical set, looking absolutely badass. I mean, again, this either looks like something from a Tenacious D um, music video or something to do with Meatloaf, maybe. Moving us on to the return of the second Harvesting Tool, we have the Burning Axe. And again, this has to be a Tenacious D um, Harvesting Tool. It's got to be like, look at that. That is the ultimate in heavy metal guitarage. Yeah, I said guitarage. I don't know if it's a word, but I said it. Anyway, Immortal Instrument of Fire. Moving us on to the return of the animated Burning Glyph Wrap. As you guys can see, we've got some glyphs on there. They rotate left and right. Anyway, very, very cool on various different weapon models now. Some of you might not be able to see because they are quite big. Moving us on to the... Bottom half now, we have the Daily Store. So, jumping straight into the Daily Store, we start off with the Sig skin. Master Intercept Agent. Part of the Intercept Agent set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2, you already know! And forever in time, that is my favourite season. So, moving us on away from the skin, looking very slick. 
We move on to the back bling. We have the silencer. Engineered for perfect silence. I mean, yeah. You ain't gonna hear nobody coming when they got one of these. Also love the little grenade keyring there we've got. Moving us on to the return of the Eco skin. Literally a skin that is the chapter one map. So as you guys can see, we've got the Eco. He's got it all mapped out. Part of the Terra Firma set, first introduced in chapter two, season six. So as you guys can see, we've got many, many, many locations for the OG chapter one map on here. Let me know if you guys can name them all. Anyway, moving us on to the bat bling, which is reactive, we have the Globy. It looks so small from up here. So as you guys can see, it states the reactive bat bling, the volcano erupts with eliminations, which is very, very cool. Again, I always like the fact that you can guys you guys can see that you're getting eliminations or confirmed eliminations when you know a part of your body lights up and stuff like that. It means you can keep your, your your eyes focused on the middle of the screen instead of looking left and right. Anyway. Moving us on to the turn of some really cool items in the daily store. We have the peanut cobblers. The spiky bat with a pineapple bunch. Or pineapple punch, sorry. Again, these are absolutely badass. Again, part of the pineapple bandit set. First introduced in chapter 2, season 2. Moving us on to the return of the little moa traversal emote. This battlefield requires a little landscaping. First introduced in chapter 3, season 2. Obviously a traversal emote. Moving us on to pardon me. Woo, pardon me. Moving us on to the inky animated wrap, as you guys can see. Pretty much in, resem in uh, resemblance to a Rorschach, or if you guys don't know what that is in a psychology term, it's an ink block test. Pretty much you stare at this like ink block picture and uh, pretty much you see what you want to see it form basically. Anyway, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Definitely looking at grabbing this, guys. I'm going to grab it just because I think it looks pretty cool. Last but not least, we have the El Dorado Bat Bling. Now, a bit of a funny story with this. I was working at Smith's when this first came out. So, obviously, I was working at Smith's. I bought some Fortnite action figures, of course. That's me. So, pretty much when you bought the action figures, you pretty much got a code for this Bat Bling. So, I currently have two codes for this Bat Bling. Now, it is only 200 V-Bucks, but I might be giving one of these away for free. So, as you guys can see, we've got the El Dorado Bat Bling, cooked with 24 carat beef bullion. Again, really, really cool. So, I don't exactly know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and think of, uh, of a way in the next couple of days. So, if you guys don't get this in the item shop, don't worry. I'm going to try and get, get, get somebody to get it. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving us on to the rest of the item shop, we have the Axion Sentinel Level Up Quest Pack. We have the Creed Bundle, absolutely badass. Mwah. I'm going to do my movie review on this film tomorrow. There's not going to be a spoiler one, it's just going to be a straight movie review. My raw thoughts. I watched the movie three times now. I watched it the day it came out. I watched it yesterday and I watched it today. Or technically I watched it Monday and Sunday. Anyway, moving away from this, 100% rec recommend grabbing this, even if you just grab the emotes. Mwah! Fire. Moving on to the return of the Snicked Snicked, which includes X-23's bundle and the Adamantium Claws pack. Finally, you guys can have the Wolverine Claws equipped and the emote to pull them out as well. Anyway, moving us on to the Marvel item shop. You guys know all about this. We have it return every so often. Really, really cool. Definitely recommend grabbing some items from here. I own every, I know I always say this, but I own every Marvel item to date, except for the OG Black Widow, which, uh, yeah, let's, let's just say she's never coming back. So I almost own every Marvel item except for one. But anyway, guys, some really, really cool skins down here. But yeah, guys, moving us on to the last but not least, we have Flakes Power, and then we have these special armors and bundles. But yeah, guys, absolutely badass item shop tonight, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't the video. Again, let me know, are you guys going to be grabbing the return of the Horizon Zero Dawn bundle? Are you guys going to be grabbing the Creed bundle? And which is your favorite item from tonight's item shop? Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join too. Let's get your vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to push on the bell notifications to get notified as that upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey, and I'll catch you in the frozen wilds. Peace.